We just got the latest numbers from the Florida Department of Health. The state is also reporting 96 recent deaths. News 6's Amanda Castro joins us live from the newsroom. And Amanda, you just spoke to Orange County Superintendent Dr. Barbara Jenkins. What did she have to say? Well, Ginger, Dr. Jenkins says that when it comes to who gets the vaccine first, public education employees are getting lost in the conversation. They're telling us that time is of the essence and she wants to make sure that they're not forgotten. Because it, it just is under the radar for some reason and we think it's urgent. Orange County School Superintendent Dr. Barbara Jenkins is hoping this letter she wrote to the governor will get his attention as he continues working on a COVID-19 vaccine distribution plan. She doesn't want K-12 essential school district employees to be forgotten. Time is of the essence. We understand uh, Governor DeSantis and his team are making decisions and rolling out those vaccines as quickly as possible. And we needed to make sure that public education employees are considered in that prioritization. Dr. Jenkins says right now they aren't part of any priority groups, but these employees are essential to keep schools open, especially as more than 18,000 students are returning to face-to-face -face learning in the spring, which means more teachers will need to return to the classroom. And that shift potentially will give us more uh, outbreaks, more um, uh, positive cases that will have to be dealt with. Dr. Jenkins believes by prioritizing teachers and staff, they'll feel safer as they come back to work. So as we grow, as the doors open wider, we believe it will encourage those employees, teachers and others uh, who have been working at home will make them feel safer about returning to work. Now we reached out to all of our Central Florida school districts, many of them telling us that they're not sending a similar letter to the governor, but Sumter County Schools says that they're in support of the idea and add the Florida Association of District School Superintendents will also send a letter saying vaccinating public education employees who have contact with students should be a high priority. Julie.